In this lesson, we will learn about the atomic theory of matter, an idea that took only 2200 years to become accepted. The atomic theory is the foundation for all chemistry and an excellent starting point for our chemical journey. For as long as humans have been around, we've asked, what's stuff made of? For a surprisingly long time, we had no idea. But around 2400 years ago, the Greek philosopher Democritus theorized that all matter was composed of teeny tiny pieces that couldn't be broken down any further. Unfortunately, no one believed him, and he was eventually laughed out of town by his rival at the time, a guy named Plato. It took until the 1800s before the English chemist John Dalton proposed atomic theory, which explained that all matter is made of indivisible atoms. There are four main components to Dalton's atomic theory. First, each element is composed of indivisible atoms. Next, atoms of a given element are identical. Atoms of different elements are different. Third, atoms cannot change from one type to another. Lastly, compounds form when different atoms combine. Identical compounds have the same number and the same kind of atoms. If you stick around in the sciences long enough, you will come across two things called scientific laws and scientific theories. A scientific law states a universal mathematical truth. For example, the law of conservation of mass states that mass cannot be created or destroyed. In other words, the mass never changes during a reaction. Laws don't explain why they are true, just that they are. To explain why, we need a scientific theory. Our boy Dalton explained the law of conservation of mass with atomic theory. He said, well, mass is constant because it all comes from atoms and atoms cannot be created or destroyed or changed into different atoms. Note that a law and a theory are entirely different things with entirely different purposes. Laws express a universal truth through math Theories explain why such a truth exists. A theory will never ever become a law because they are different things. So the next time you hear someone poo-pooing science by saying, well, it's just a theory, ask them if they believe in atoms.